Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting match in the Super Metroid Accessible Randomizer Tournament. We've got a very exciting one for you today. This is Asder versus Toasty Muffins. This is match three. This is a best of five. We are in the final four, Sam. The winner of this match will go on. Um, let me just check something right quick. We're going to get this started. Um, da, 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 da. Looks like we're runners are going to get readied up here. I've removed myself from the race. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. <laughs> oh, of course they're all interesting. Every last one of them. We have exciting runners, we have exciting matches, we have an exciting chat. Uh, we got an exciting tracker up in here, Mr. Protoplace tracking for us today. Swap space on restreams, thank you so much, my dude. And I'll be your commentator, I am Jchok. And our runners are gonna get started. I'm going to, uh, my, com my commentary might be slightly behind as I'm watching from the Twitch channel itself while I get connected to the server. Hopefully I can connect soon. But our runners are off, so hopefully I'm not too far behind as I get connected to the more up-to-date server itself. But our runners are going to be making their way down the parlor um, and are going to be moving into a climb through Mother Brain's room down the elevator to the Morphal location in the construction zone. And this is going to give us one of four items. Uh, it could either be the vanilla item, which is the Morph Ball. And if it's not the Morph Ball, it's going to be one of three items. We got a Moonfall on the right side twice by Toasty, by the way, as Azure just does a, a standard fall. You can really see the difference um, in fall speeds there. It saves a few seconds. Uh, so Toasty is going to take a slight lead here on the Moonfall. So one of three items, we're going to have either Ice Beam, Space Jump, or High Jump Boots. Uh, Ice Beam is a, a really nice item to find first. Uh, but we get a vanilla Morph Ball. This is actually quite rare. Um, so this is actually going to put the item in the ceiling out of logic. So um, that's something to keep in mind um, as our runners move down into the Awakening Missiles location. Um, this will be our next... Ooh, Azure does a very nice down back there. Again, I hope I'm not too far behind. And Toasty doing... Um, I'm not sure exactly whose strat that is, but I won't swap taught me, so I'm just going to call it swap strat for now. Alright, so this is the item I'm talking about. In the ceiling, uh, we have a super super pack. Uh, we already found a super pack at Awakening Missiles, so... Um, ooh, and Azadir is actually going to skip that super pack for now. Possibly. Might elect to pick it up on their way back. And yeah, okay, so gonna get themselves set up and ooh, put the uh, the enemy there out of out of sync. Might just elect to uh yeah, just gonna YOLO out of there as Toasty picks up the tin. Um it's gonna put Toasty a super pack up. Early on, might not make a huge difference, but we'll, we'll keep an eye on that um, as we move along here to see what, what the item um, items are like as we continue on. Alright, so, um, we're going to see something interesting, possibly. Uh, two different strats coming up the climb here. It looks like Asder is going to do a standard behemoth climb, excuse me, just a standard right side wall climb, while Toasty is doing the behemoth climb. So these are these two different strats that I'm talking about. Um, uh, Toasty Muffin is doing a series of um, uh, ledge grabs to make their way up the climb there. Now both runners are in the parlor. Uh, by the way, we are tied up in this series one to one. Uh, this is a best of five. Um, and so our runners are going to be playing at least a few more matches. And uh, so we're going to have a lot of fun 
watching these guys battle it out. And we get the power bomb. Uh, we typically see this uh, as the Alcatraz escape, which you'll see both of our runners do here momentarily, uh, is out of logic. So this trick that you see Azur doing and Toasty doing is an out of logic trick. Those blocks off to the right are what you need to actually destroy. And ooh, Toasty's doing something that I've been seeing a lot of runners do recently. Skip the 230 missiles and route it back in as you come in through um, old uh, um, criteria, uh, Blue Brinstar. Uh, and again, for the, for, the, for the multiple time that I've seen this, um, I have we have seen nothing important at 2.30 missiles. So it saves time because eventually our runners are going to run into items that they need, and they may never need to go to 2.30 missiles. So that's just going to give Toasty an opportunity to, you know, take a little bit of a lead here. Toasty's going to be moving down into green uh, Brinstar Reserve. Or, uh, yeah, green Brinstar Reserve. Um, there are going to be five items back here and only one of them are in logic uh, so that's something that we really need to pay attention to as we check these items back here um, because if we find um, especially if we find you know some pretty significant items back here we need to pay attention that we don't follow that logic um, as it will be completely out of a bunch that we find here And missile pack. So again, these three items back here, the the Ron Pompey missiles and the Green Brinstar missiles, reserve, Green Brinstar reserve missiles here, these are out of logic. Just missiles, so nothing too incredibly important here. Um, and an E-tank, which is nice. We'll see our Tosin pick that up. As we're going to be running down, making the same play here. I didn't quite check. I didn't quite see what was under the bridge. Um, it was just a missile pack. So now we're going to get our first look at the uh, super, the early supers location here. It's another missile, so our runners are already at 15, 15, 5. Azur's going to be um, just a super pack behind. Um, going to elect to skip that missile, so that's actually going to um, bring Azur just I don't know, a few know, seven seconds closer here. And now we're going to move down into the um, basement. We got two items here. And these checks are in logic, so we'll see what what we have going on. And it's an energy tank, so three energy tanks, really nice. Not gonna have to worry about side hoppers ruining our day. Toasty is gonna pick up yet another missile pack and put them at twenty. And Aster's um, about. 30 seconds behind here. Um, just a, a 230 missile check on behind. So our runners are nearly, nearly perfect um, outside of that extra check made by Azder. Uh, Toasty doing a series of damage boosts here. And it's a super pack at the. Um, Etacoon's location. So that's going to put Toasty at 20 supers. Pretty good number to have so far. This is actually really interesting um, for an SMRAT seed. Uh, this is probably the longest I've seen an SMRAT seed go without a single progression of any kind. No beams, no suits, no, no nothing. So we are going to run into um, I assume something at our next check probably mission impossible missiles will be some type of progression here or maybe uh maybe charge beam or charge missiles uh, i think pink print star is going to be pretty stacked um spore spawn won't be uh required uh because we found super pack uh at the awakening missiles so that was our first in logic super pack so um and we can oh never mind excuse me there could be progression at spore spawn i was for some reason thinking uh super so we'll, we'll find out whether or not spore spawn was required right here another e-tank so still 
we have three, uh, four locations, well, actually in this area, four locations left to check. Um, Spore Spawn Supers, that's a missile pack. So now we're down to the final two locations. Um, there's Screw Attack, so there's a, a, a progression item. That's our progression, our logical progression through Gauntlet. But we know there's just Missile Pack and a Super Pack in the back. Um, we still need our up logic, which is either Space Jump, Bombs, or Speed Booster. Uh, Toasty's going to do a sequence break here uh, using a Super Pack, or a Super Missile to uh, clip the gate here. They don't have high jump boots, so they're going to need to do it into the door. And Aster's looking like they're going to skip checking this very interesting play. Um, but honestly, probably... Probably... Um, uh, probably um, thinking, you know, the logic is not putting me anywhere in this room. I'm just going to YOLO out of it. It's a really good play by Aster, honestly. Um, and we find bombs. That's the up logic. Uh, so now we just need to find wave beam uh, because that those bombs are out of logic. And so we need to find some, we need to find wave beam, of course, to put the bombs into logic, which would then put the gauntlet into wild logic. And there's the ice beam. That's a really nice find. At a beam location. Oh, that's the vanilla spacer location. Toasty continuing the clear of pink brin stars. Aster's going to continue moving down. Uh, these are plays that a lot of runners have to kind of decide, you know, in the moment. Do I go up? Do I go down? Really, uh, there's not a lot of logic pushing you up right now. Um, Aster's going to probably move right into uh, Kraid, which is going to give Aster three item locations to check. Kraid uh, missiles, the uh, Vario location, and Kraid E-Tank. Uh, there could be something very important here as well, as Toasty's now making their way out of Green Brinstar. And as you can tell, uh, Aster, you know, lost the lead for a moment while uh, they checked 230 missiles, but gained it right back as they skipped the 230 missiles, but kind of like what I was mentioning is Toasty is going to come back through here. They're not going to have enough power bombs to do a full criteria clear here, but they are going to at least be able to check uh, construction zone. No, they have bombs now, so they should, they they are completely fine. Completely forgot about the bomb pickup. They will be able to, with this one power bomb, they'll be able to go and check Billy Mays. No. They cannot, because they still need to break the power bombs below Billy Mays. Um, so that's a good play by Toasty. I forget. You need one power bomb to break in the construction zone and one power bomb to uh, break the Billy Mays. So saw that and decided to nope out of there. And it's just a missile pack of Kraid. So Azder has developed um, a slight lead here. Uh, Toasty does have a bit of ammo. Um, Uh, but both players electing to go down. Good play here. Um, but we'll see what our runners are rewarded with. We only have uh, four checks left in logic. So we'll see what we find here. Toasty going to pick up their ice beam. It's a really nice beam to have. This is going to give our runners... Uh, the ability to uh, skip, uh, potentially skip speed booster, uh, if nothing speed lock to get through to bot's wound. It's also going to make um, no need to pick up any more power bombs. They don't want to, especially on Toasty's side, having those bombs that Azure will probably never get. Uh, that, that that that's an item that could theoretically never be picked up by. Um, Aster. And yet another missile pack. So we're down to our final three items. And if this is nothing, then both of our runners are going to be feeling very behind because if any of these runners went up, that's where our progression is going to be. And uh, that's when a runner feels pretty bad. But our runners, um, four E-Tanks, 
Uh, that's definitely enough E tanks to do Bubble Mountain, Hell Runs. Um, of course, with this logic, uh, it's not always going to net you a lot of progression. Uh, it's possible, of course, if Varia was up and you find gravity. Or there's a reserve tank, so we'll have two items left. Yeah, there's the gravity suit. So, uh, good choice by our runners here. Unfortunately, that's just going to lead our runners on into Meridia, which is just full of um, routing decisions. Um, and not we don't have a lot of uh, movement items. Uh, Toasty is actually better off with being able to um, have bombs. But we can gravity jump, which you will probably see Azra do. Curious if Azra will go and check ice here before heading out. No, just gonna head up into um, head right up into and ah, Toasty gets the great quick kill. Also gonna pick up that muscle missile, excuse me. And uh, just to remind everyone, um, the winner of this series will go on to face Punk in the semifinals. Uh, so a lot, a lot of, a lot of stuff is riding on this series to go have a chance to face Punk in the semifinals of the SM Rat tournament. Toasty going to say, "I'm pretty good here with 35 missiles. I've picked up enough. I'm going to head out." Uh, we'll head down, see their reserve tank. I'm interested in if they pick that up. Interested to see if they pick that up. Um, and so we're going to see... Uh, what we find here, Mama Turtle. And the Mama Turtle missiles. Just a missile pack, which is really nice for Azure because Azure has no way of getting to that item with the current items that they have. Toasty, on the other hand, would have been able to. Um, so very nice that it's just a super pack, but that's going to put Asder another super pack behind Toasty. So a charge beam is in a, a really uh, far off location that none of our runners are going to get to. Effectively, that might make a difference here, but we're going to see the first, rather the second, well no, the third, we already saw Alcatraz escape. We saw, we saw the damage boost into the E-Tank ceiling. We saw Alcatraz escape. We saw the Mothball to, to Supers location. And then that right there, what Azure just did was the gravity jump. Um, how you do it is you want to press start, run, and jump as the screen is transitioning into uh, the start menu. You're going to move into your menu, your item menu. You want to de-equip um, gravity. Press start, hold jump, and you're going to be skyrocketed into the, the air. Uh, Azra's going to pull off yet another trick. Lots of cool tech in, in, in Meridia. Uh, that was the ice clip using the mock troid there. You want to freeze it um, in a crouched position and then do like kind of like a standing jump and then press down to get yourself lodged in between the mock troid and the ground there. And that was a fantastic bot's wound by Azure. Something to take note is that they do not have charge. Uh, Toasty has some really good ammo moving into... Um, moving into Meridia here. Toasty doing a really good job keeping with Azure here. Both making the same exact plays. I am curious what our runners would have found had they gone up. Uh, there were only two locations in Logic. Rather, three. Alpha power bombs, alpha power bomb missiles, and beta power bombs. Any one of those could have been a various suit or some other form of progression. But right now, uh, there's not a lot of in progression um, stuff here in. Especially where Azure is. Azure is going to be moving in. We'll just check one, two, we'll be doing three locations that will be out of logic um, until they find Speed Booster. 
Azzer did an out of logic trick mock Troid ice clip to get two Batu in there, which is not in logic. Very nice damage boost using the iframes to jump across the next set of spikes there. That's a very typical RBO move. All right, here we go. Azra moving in. Has a pretty good set of ammo. It takes 20 supers to kill um, Dragon. So we'll see how Azra does here. Definitely has enough ammo with some solid shots and toast. Oh man, I uh, I do not like when that happens. Um, just barely. Just barely missing the jump there. It, it actually costs quite a bit of time, but that was a much better jump there by Toasty. All right, so Azder uh, supplementing some some missile. Ooh, just those the goop straight body and all of those missiles. That's going to put them a little bit behind here. I might need to farm some some supers. And Toasty's actually doing a few more checks than what Azder um, did. Azder's probably going to clean this up after they... Ooh, and Wave Beam, so that puts our bombs back in logic. Um, so now Gauntlet could be a play. Gauntlet could have something pretty important. And uh, Asder is going to de-equip. De-equip the uh, gravity. Oh my gosh, and there's speed booster. That's a very interesting spot for speed booster, to be honest. Right, so we're, we're still looking for then Space Jump or Grapple Beam. So Space Jump or Grapple Beam has to be somewhere pretty close by. Alright, so, so Toasty... I'm curious if Azure even finds these. Um, it's possible that Azure just might skip over those checks as well. Azder is, 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 is very good about knowing when to just straight skip everything. We're gonna get an aqueduct check here. Oh my god, and it's Varia. That's huge. Uh, so the good thing about this is if Azder knows how to snail clip, which Azder could theoretically pull off right here. Looks like they're setting up for it. Oh, this is cool. This could very well ensure that Tosi, or excuse me, that Azure will not find speed. If Azure finds Varia here, that's that's done. That's Azure being done. And so Azure's going to set up for a snail clip here, which is my favorite trick. He, uh, so the snail was way too high there. Needs to actually be a tad bit lower. That could, could be good. Nah. So there are actually three different spots you can pull this trick off. On the far right wall, on the right side of this little gap here, you saw Azure attempting that too high. Um, and then the spot that Azure is trying to pull it off here. Uh, this is a very important trick to learn. Uh, but you really want, you really want the, that, that, that might be okay. Nah, it's a little bit too low. You want it just lower. Ah, oh, perfect. That was, see, that was it. You want it just slightly lower than mine, but not too low. But this, this is what I'm worried about right now. Um, Azure, ooh, and Plasma Beam! Wait, we already knew that. <laughs> I was paying attention to Azure coming on in on the, uh, uh, coming in on the ice, or the uh, snail clip here, but Plasma and Varia, that's pretty huge. So we now know that both Plasma and Varia are left behind uh, space or grapple because 
Wave Beam is locked behind Spacer Grapple, which means Wave Beam. And there's Grapple Beam. Okay, so we're back into logic. No, not yet. That means Space Jump. So Space Jump has to be somewhere. So, so Space Jump locks everything that led to bombs. So, that's fun. And Space Jump's always a required item. Um, Asder can do High Jump Plus. So, Asder is basically Go Mode. Just needs uh, either ammo or um, charge beam. But really, Asder's Gucci. But this is kind of what I was worried about when 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 the, when Varia was there. Um, yeah, Asder. I I know Asder can do that jump pretty effectively. Let's see, um, this is interesting. Because had Varia not been there, it's possible that Azure might have gone up. But even then, I don't know. But that speed booster could make a huge difference. But Azure done with Dragon. Yeah. So so yeah. Space block. Absolutely everything that led to bombs because space blocked grapple beam, space blocked wave beam, wave beam blocked bombs. Bombs were a potential logical access to get to wave beam, but then we found um, that that can't be the case. So then now we know space jump was our logical access, which means space jump cannot be found in Bubble Mountain. It means space jump is probably at Alpha Power Bombs. Or beta power bombs or alpha power bombs missiles. So that's something that runners can keep an eye on. Alright, so as they're going to check the two items here, another super pack, very nice, gonna put them at 40. Uh, high jump, see these are these are only the only items that Azure would just absolutely love to see. High jump, space jump, spring ball, bombs, charge. Those five items, and Azure will feel pretty good. Any one of the movement items to have a better chance of getting through worst room in the game. Or uh, charge beam to not have to worry about uh, grabbing any more minor items. Oh, but there's a super pack. We saw left side sand pit, and now we're seeing the right side sand pit. So it's just it's just so it's worked out just so that Toast every location that Azra has skipped, Toasty has found something. High jump has not been found yet, no. Alright, so Azur uh, is going to fill up here. Very good decision. Does not want to go down into lower north fair with that. At least having some supers. But we're gonna get to check two more items here. Um, we're hoping for Spring Ball or High Jump. Even though Azure can theoretically do the Wall Jump. Oh, just a, just a Reserve Tank. I'm gonna pick that up. I'm not sure if they meant for that to happen. X-Ray is also a possibility. That is correct. That is true. Good point. Aha, uh -huh, just a super. That's gonna put him at 50 though, so that's a really good number to be at. Uh, matches him up with Toasty, also at 50. But you guys are gonna see the difference that that those bombs are gonna make. Toasty's just gonna be able to go right down into lower north air, no problem. Um, and also take Frog Speedway here. The uh, because Toasty's just gonna be able to go right down into lower north air. There's really no reason him to check anything else. He's just a couple super packs away from being um, uh, ammo, being just fine. So he's going to farm here and then go right down into lower north. Azure is going to pull off one of my favorite tricks, the damage boost to green 
uh, to Bubble Mountain Reserve. Uh, so again, um, to be in logic, this requires bombs or grapple beam or space jump, which we all know the logic right now behind all of those items because of how deep a lot of the items were in Meridia. And so let's see what we find here. There's another super pack and another super pack, which is quite nice, actually. But Toasty farming up here says, I'm okay with this number here, and we're going to go... Yeah, ice up to worst room in the game requires charge to freeze the pirates. Um, but it would have been a good possibility had they had had they had charge. So now, Toasty, gonna move right down to the lower Norfair as we all predicted. Whereas Azder is gonna check the right side here, Bubble Mountain. I didn't see what that was. Oh my gosh, that's a blessing. This is going to get super, super... Every single time a runner takes... This is literally lead change galore. We've had multiple lead changes in this game already. And Azder just lucking out, finding that that that, that spring ball. Single-handedly, like, the one of the best items Azder could have found right there outside of uh, anything else. But this has been a pretty exciting match so far. Toasty heading down into Lower North Fair. Had to make use of a very cool um, gravity jump, which we'll see Azder do as well. Uh, the difference between the high jump gravity jump and the no high jump gravity jump is we're going to have to see uh, our runners do an extra wall jump, as you'll see here, right there, off the Namahe, and then boom, or the fume. Fume? Is it not here? Fume. Off the creature there. And our runners are now pretty pretty close to each other. Um, the interesting thing here is that Toasty's going to have to do a infinite boom jump. So this is going to actually give Aster here an opportunity to catch up because the spring ball jump is a much quicker setup. Um, and even if Toasty misses one of these jumps, and has to reset. It's going to make a pretty big difference, but looks looking like they're doing a pretty good job. Um, here's something that is absolutely extremely important to note. Azure has screw attack. Uh, so you need five power bombs entering Lower Norfair. Um, unless you have, and then six coming out, unless you have screw attack, spring ball, bombs, x-ray, speed booster, um, but has screw attack and spring ball. So there's that spring ball much quicker as you as you can see. Already just a room behind Toasty. As Toasty makes their way down, uh, we'll see if they take the save here. Gonna skip the save. We are in the final four of this tournament. We don't need no saves. We're YOLO and it's straight down into the wasteland as Azur also moving into the wasteland. Excuse me, the room prior to the wasteland here. And we're gonna get a check here. This could be charge beam. <laughs> Spazer beam. And Tosi's gonna pick that up. Uh, gonna give Azur an opportunity here to <laughs> Catch up just a little bit. To so Azder's realizing um, I'm gonna need another power bomb here. So open the yellow door there, and it's going to go farm some power bombs. Very nice decision here. Give him, gonna also give him a check a chance to check fire fleet. It's an E tank. Gonna skip that for now. Azder knows it's all on the line right here, right now. Man. The Iframes for spikes are really weird. But, uh, Toasty gonna do just a little tad bit more farming. And, uh, alright, we'll see how Toasty does. Um, has plenty of missiles, so it takes 30 supers to take down Ridley. 
Uh, for every missed super, it's going to be a combination of six regular missiles to equal one super. You can also double hit on some some power bombs to do some damage as well. But there's that extra power bomb that Azder needed. Um, laid it there. Also sees the space. They're going to skip that. Very nicely done. Already have plasma. So, ooh, and gets some very nice Kago to the first platform there. All right, so couldn't quite see. Yeah, that's what I thought. Very nicely done. Toasty takes out Ridley, and we might be picking up the high jump boots or charge beam here. Quote me. Boom. There are high jump boots. And that's going to be very nice. Uh, on our escape here. Uh, SMRAT Logic really loves to put high jump or charge beam behind um, Ridley. But here's uh, another thing to take note of is Azure's ammo is phenomenal. Um, Toasty might want another super pack. Uh, but surely you can run into at least one coming out here. But here we go. Gonna be making their way through. This is the, 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 the point that I was mentioning where runners need five power bombs to enter and six to come out unless they have bombs, spring ball jump, screw attack, or x ray, or speed. So a lot of different items can can remove that need for power bombs. Bombs being the best option, of course. Screw attack, you can scoop blocks. Speed booster, you can do a uh, wasteland speed ball. X-ray, you can X-ray climb. Spring ball, you can do the final jump with spring ball. Um, but uh, as you're thinking ahead there, picks up all of the power bombs that they need. Those. Uh, those those creatures there drop near 100% for power bombs. So Azur's Gucci Mama as Toasty's gonna make their way out of Norfair. Another spot that Charge Beam likes to rest um, is in the uh, um, Franker Z room. But we're gonna get a check here to pre-jail. It's a missile. Toasty's gonna say nope to that. Gonna head on out. Uh, Azur. Uh, both runners have Fantoon left, um, and honestly, it, Fantoon can 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 be kind of trolly to runners depending on your uh, ooh X-ray. Gonna skip that, Toasty says. But depending on the patterns you get and uh, how well you are, how good you are at um, Doppler, because we don't have any other methods to taking out Fantoon. Um, other than the, the Doppler method here, without charge beam. Freezes the uh, creature there, gonna make the round. Aster, not too far behind. Uh, this is gonna be very exciting down to the very last minute. It's just, it's very nice. Uh, the, the unfortunate thing is Toasty does have the upper hand here. Here's the thing, so Toasty needs more ammo, and the time spent trying to find maybe just another super pack is going to maybe mitigate the lack of speed booster on Aster's side. Because Aster doesn't even have the ability to do the the speed the uh the speedway skip. So it's gonna have to take the long way around. Uh, as Toasty's already out. So we're gonna see Aster um head on through this side here, yeah. Um but Toasty's gonna need to find that extra uh he cannot do the new tech without waving. Needs at least wave beam. Uh, Toasty, on the other hand, with the speed booster, gonna be able to fly right through. Uh, and this is where, man, this could really. Toasty's gonna be able to probably run into a super pack at the moat. At worst, left side super location. Hopefully, uh, the, the best case scenario is Toasty just gets. Um, doesn't have the best luck with supers. Give Azure a chance to catch up here without the lack of 
uh, speed booster here. And of course, we also have to account the uh, escape. Uh, this could go multiple different ways here. Coast is going to farm up just a little bit there. Uh, and that gauntlet was a missile pack and a super pack, if I remember correctly. So Toasty could theoretically go through the back of there, but we're going to get a check here. This could be our space jump. I'm assuming this is space jump. Oh, it's a super pack. That's nice. So alpha power bombs or alpha power bomb missiles are most likely our space jump item. Uh, but here, here's here's the uh, the kicker though. That 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 missile pack, that super pack was was very nice to find there by Toasty. Asder gets the, the gravity jump up to the top here. Gonna say hello to the punk fish. Just gives it a little nod. And ah, Toasty, gonna head up to the moat. Best case scenario is that this is also a um, tra charge or another super pack. That is definitely nice for Toasty. All right, guys, um, where do you think Charge ended up? I, uh, I think we'll go, we'll go Shack Tool. Oh, oh no, I don't, oh man, that's, you know Azure's not going to check that. Man, that could seal the deal. Let's see what Azure likes to do here. Ah! Oh man, I thought for a second! Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, I just knew in my blood and bones that Azure was going to skip that location. But uh, here's the thing though, guys. Something really important to note. Had, As had Azure, excuse me, had Toasty picked up X-Ray, he would have been able to body Fantoon, for starters. But uh, but with 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 charge plasma, wait, basically full beam combo. This this bite's not gonna. Did he just de-equip plasma and turn on spazer? Okay. <laughs> oh no, he had a. Uh, he had a. Uh, he had not turned plasma back on after picking up spazer. I see now. He just realized that. So I just realized we're we're in simultaneous Fantoon fights here, guys. Um, oh man, just look at the item difference between Toasty and Astro. We got Charge, Wave, Spazer, uh, Speed Booster for Toasty. Now on Astro's site, we don't have Speed Booster, we don't have Charge Beam. Um, it's gonna be an entirely different yeah, uh, you can just see the difference that Charge Beam makes here. Uh, Toasty already finished off with uh, Fantoon. I think at this point, uh, man, that speed booster is really the kicker here. And Toasty has no reason to uh, check anything else. Aster could theoretically check left side supers, but I don't see them doing that. Just a reminder for those of you joining us, this is the um, final four match in the winner's bracket, uh, Toasty versus Asder. This is match three. This is the best of five. Um, so first to win three will move on to face Punk in the semifinals. the uh, finals of the winner's bracket, rather. All right, so, Azder, do you check below the ocean? You do! <laughs> sees the charge beam, didn't believe it, did a double take. Uh, but you guys are going to see how much a different speed's going to make here. Uh, this will ultimately... Barring any insane endings, just might win Toasty the Raider. 
because we have two phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal runners uh, who will just straight scorch right through Torian. Um, and Tosi is just going to be able to be that much faster. All right, so let's see. Toasty enters in a 43.30. So we're going to see how much, uh, how much a lead uh, Toasty has on Azure as see Toasty move into the first Metroid room. I'm going to put the Ice Beam to use. Pretty good room so far. Yeah, uh, one thing to note here is if Aster gets grabbed, thank you, Bugs, for pointing that out, it would not be um, a good thing to get grabbed by a Metroid in Aster's case here. Lack of power bombs to destroy them and no regular bombs get them off. Uh, but one thing that's also really interesting here is we've only found one power bomb pack. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this seed was very stingy on the power bombs. Oh, just look at this gorgeous Metroid 1 room here by Astro. I didn't quite see what was the time on the entrance for Astro. Alright, Toasty has all... Oh, no! Okay. So, Astro... <laughs> this is what happens. Um, thankfully, can leave. I was going to try that one more time. Uh, but the reason why Astro had to leave there was because Astro had nothing to get the Metroids the mock the metroids off of Azder. Uh, so had to leave the room to reset the room so uh Toasty, reset. Or excuse me, refilled. <laughs> All right, as we're going to remove screw attack here um, to make the upcoming Zeb skip easier. Uh, Toasty has wave beam, so they're going to be able to do a much simpler setup. And as they're moving on to Mother Brain 1. Uh, this is going to be a really fast time for our on both sides. <laughs> Toasty moving into Mother Brain 2, gonna make full use of that beam combo. Ooh. Just about got a new haircut there. And that's it. Azder moving into Mother Brain 1. Charge Ice Plasma. Um, I believe that's 24 shot. I don't know. I'm just making numbers up. How many shots is it without wave? I need to learn my combinations. 30. Thank you, Smokey. Um, so that's 10 more shots than what Toasty had to do here. Uh, so, yeah, that, that, that speed booster really, really made the difference here. 
It's precisely some number of shots fewer than me. <laughs> ah, 24 is with charge wave plasma. That's right, that's right, that's right. Uh, just charge is like 300? Or 200? Just charge is 300. Or the 200. Charge ice is 200. Yeah, that's right. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a really exciting... Uh, by the way, the next match will start directly following this one, so... Toasty. Uh, all goes well here. We'll be up two to one over Aster and has the potential to uh, close out the series um, and head on to the winners bracket finals to face Punk. Um, uh, the winner bracket final will move on to face the winner of the loser bracket final in the finals of the tournament. That will be a best of seven. Um, and so that's going to be super hype for whichever member of the alternative winner's bracket uh, fights through the remaining people there to make it back up to the bracket up top. Toasty heading into the escape as Aster is going to be moving into Mother Brain 3. Very tight race here. Um, but again, uh, it all started with the bombs. Um, skipping that location actually made like a downward spiral of extra checks. Uh, Toasty was able to just bypass a lot of extra checks by having those bombs to get through Rit G. Um, also was able to make the play up to do Watering Hole to get Speed Booster. Uh, so generally um, skipping checks like that um, don't have that big of a um, consequence, but In this case, it was a pretty big, pretty big setback for those particular skips. And Toasty Muffin heading already through the parlor here, gonna be dot dunning and oh, gonna dot dunning while Aster's in the escape. That's always the worst feeling. Uh, it's happened to me a lot in my Metroid career. Um, but here we go with an official SRL time of 50 50. Toasty is your winner of match three. Uh, so, fantastic job to uh, Toasty. There we go, that's the right one. Uh, and we'll be starting next match here. Uh, we'll start all our runners, their seeds, and they're set up and good to go. Um, So I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Aster has um, now moved into the climb as well. Um, so GG to both our runners. Going to uh, ask our runners if they're ready to start the next one. I'll roll a new seed and open a new room. So GG to our runners, fantastic race. Hope you guys are excited because we're coming back with another hype master toasty match. So let me open up a new room here for our racers.
All right, I'm going to bring the stream down and we'll bring it right back as we prep for the next matchup. So stick around, guys. Uh, next one's going to be great as well.